successfully the final part of Gunstar Heroes. Uh, every time I think this game is going to end, it's another one. But it looks like we have full bosses on this screen, so hopefully this goes well. Um, I'm using the Tracer and Electricity power because I found that on some of these bosses it's easier. Um, as you can see just right there, uh, if you crouch and just shoot with this weapon, you're going to be continuously damaging the boss. And your hitbox is very small, so he was literally over me point blank with guns, blowing my heads off. And same strategy here, stay down and just keep doing that. He'll fire above you, his jump attacks, his trajectory doesn't usually hit me. I'm gonna get hit, watch, uh, nope, oh, there, yep, there it is, uh, just because I was talking about, well, he usually doesn't, and then he proves me wrong. Uh, so, first boss, pretty easy, moving on. Uh, a lot of just jumping. I, I hate how they put these blue blocks in front of me uh, to like slow me down to, to signify that a boss has been beaten. I just wish it would have just like did the like go uh, like usual tag and just like oh okay that's what that is. <laughs> Falled off the level there. Um, let's stick with the electricity and tracer. Slowly going up one by one. I don't know what these guys do. Moving over. Okay, I didn't take any damage right there, so I was really worried that I was gonna take fall screen damage. Next up, we got the pink lobster. Oh god, there's oh rock lobster. Uh, fun fact: almost the same cheese moves. You actually do have to jump out of the way this time. Um, but with the uh, the electric tracer, it is probably one of the most powerful. Uh, like combos in the game and it was like I found that out and I like man thinking about it like playing this game uh, if I was like young and everything or just people who play this for the first time and feel the struggle of having to like try to beat these bosses back to back to back like I'm worried that I'm again it's gonna take me a few times because you only have a certain amount of health and it looks like you have to clear out the entire bottom of the screen all right that was pretty that, that bubble phase was pretty easily once again, just stand by the side and keep shooting. And that was bullshit. I can't believe I took damage from those falling boxes, and am I even hitting them? Okay, no, I wasn't even hitting them. Back. Alright, I think I got uh, Mr. Steroids up next, so that should be fun. We'll see how his boss battle goes. I'm pretty sure probably going to be fairly similar, just move around the screen, stay away from the side of the screen he's on. I remember he was the one that was more just pick you up, slam you, pick you up, slam you, or like drop the elbow on you like the rock. Okay, he shoots up a double pride, double projectile. Spins around. Okay, so far this is, like I said, I, I wish I knew of this combination earlier instead of using the double tracer, because I think some of the levels would have been just like done like that and then because this seems a little too easy, I. but always like I said, when I think things are the easiest, I then choke it away because of hubris. Alright, just gonna keep doing damage, run side to side. I'm waiting for him to trigger into like another phase, because this seems a little too easy if all of his one move is just doing that spinny throw attack. Ah, there we go. Like I said, waiting for that. Get down. Alright, I'm trying to run away as fast as possible so that I'm not on the same side of the screen as him. Oh, maybe he'll just stay up top and do this move now. I've broken the game. I see the code. Alright, another boss down. I like how him just being a regular person blows up the bouncing across the screen. And then I have Psy up next. So we'll see how what his boss move is on this one. Ooh, and of course, like any good action adventure game, we have an elevator stage. You know, the game wouldn't be complete without uh, an elevator, at least boss or stage, so. Okay, looks like it can destroy these projectiles. Up, oh, please shoot up, please shoot up. Oh, okay, really weird hitboxes on these. I was in that, and it didn't count against me. Okay, yeah, game has the uh, biggest hitboxes in the world. I wasn't expecting that. Laser beam, okay, hit, 
I'm probably gonna finish this boss off really fairly easily too. Oh shit, triple beam. Uh, jump through. Oh my god, you can jump through him. And okay, defeat it. So, fairly easy. It looks like I have just one more, which is the Vegeta or Trunks from Dragon Ball. Let's see what his special moves are. Alright, the Gunstars action. Let's, let's see what this is. Also, like in this game that the bosses have invisibility frames, so you just can't, like, because if I could just keep shooting them and they never took any damage, this would be so easy. But I, it, after a few, like, however many so hits of hit points are gone, they get their invisibility frames, and I think that's something nice in a game. It changes it up so that you can't be too overpowered or at least provide some type of challenge. Usually only the heroes or the, uh, the main player gets the invisibility frame, so I like that added bit of challenge. So far, it's the uh, same thing. I don't understand why he's throwing stars at me. Uh, so far, it just looks if I stun lock him every single time before he gets to me, he can't even hit me. And once again, every time I talk about camping hit, I get hit then. Okay, keep just... Now this is interesting because maybe he has too much invincibility frames, because this just seems like this fight is supposed to be a lot tougher, but with this weapon it just seems like a melting kit. And the game's like, you can't do that right now, you gotta slow it down, this boss fight was supposed to be intense. So 1400 hit points left, 100 hit points for me, I'm feeling pretty confident. I think I found the uh, the cheese move is just jump up and down between the platforms. So match up, stun lock, drop down, stun locked. I don't know what happened there. My gun went completely off the screen. 200, 141. Let's see if this is it. Oh, boom! Little swan dive action for you. Look at that grenade. Or is it a gem? Oh no, nope, it's a grenade go through the door. Who's gonna be on the other side? Oh my god. What? Like, he reminds me of like a mix of like Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What the fuck is going on there? Um, okay, the gems just burnt this guy to a crisp. So I guess I have to face the gems or the enemy. But he reminds me of like Shredder meets M. Bison. Like, the color and the scheme of everything. Ooh, okay, what's this? I have four different options on what the health. Okay, a little too late there. It looks like I am. Here comes the climax, gold and silver. Uh, well, I haven't heard that before. A golden Blast Nuclear, Jewel Strike, Earth Resolver. Okay, so far it just looks like there's a giant... That looks like uh, Future Trunks. I'm sorry, from Dragon Ball. That, like, for some reason, when he was standing there, that was totally uh, Future Trunks. Uh, he has 10,000 health, um, but, and holy crap, the robot does some crazy things, but looks like he doesn't have any invincibility for him, so as long as I keep stunning him. Okay, where the f okay. Um, I think the strategy for this one is probably going to be just jump dash as much as possible, just try to stay alive. Uh, this robot is just kicking my ass, like... I, I probably could know his pattern. I have 21 points of health left, and this boss is 12 points, and the boss is only halfway dead. Well, okay, he just opened up into a giant flame whip. I almost ran into there, okay. Oh god, what am I? Okay, one, two, three, go. I'm so scared that the, uh, the tail end of it, or like the residual flames, like, are... Uh, are gonna be a hitbox and I'm gonna die. I'm just draining this boss. No way. No way. Final stage clear. The game has been beaten. Holy crap. Um, alright, let's see. I'm gonna watch the ending credits, so. I actually like how all the little diamonds or little balls just drop to the ground disintegrated. What's gonna happen to future trunks? He just blasts off into the sky. Oh, 
wait, I think the game tricked us. We may have one more level, or something's going on here. Uh, it looks like we have a space mission, or, oh, here, I'll read what it says. We have weakened the Terrible Destructor, uh, which is the golden, like, death guy. Oh no, going after him. Please, stab. Don't hurt him, or actually destroy him before he gets to Earth. Ugh. I like how the, the like text popped up before the end of it, and he just massacred four guys in space. All right, um, what are we going to do with no weapons? That is a, a good question here. What are we going to do since all of those four diamonds disappeared? Oh my God, it's Gundam. I'm sorry that I brought trouble upon you all. Even though I was controlled by the Empire, the Empire, I'm going to make amends for the things I have done to all of you. Oh no, he's gonna... Wait, what is he doing? No, Green, come back! Well, I guess Green sacrificed himself, like all good characters. Well, I think that's where it's gonna wrap up. I thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good one. Hey,